All right, so this time we continue our uh, classroom, online classroom with Zoom. And last week we talked about life at work. Oh yeah, yang apa, uh, our UTS sudah saya upload ke YouTube, silakan dilihat. You can see your performance in the video that all of you might be active during the time. So the basic thing that I would like to inform is that the UTS score will be graded and then it will be calculated into your final exam. We will have our final exam on January 9th, 2022. Waktu begitu cepat berputar. Jadi kita uasnya nanti itu di meeting ke-16 bulan Januari tanggal 3. 2022. The exam is just fine, like talking. We will have conversation. It's quite simple. Um, okay, so we continue our topic today. This is about English conversation too. Let me show you this one. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Um, last time we talked about um, this one live at work and we have discussed about starting a new job you have known about probationary period and then knowledgeable the beginning of your starting your job and instruction at work we have also discussed about doing a good job how you see bad employee with a good employee at work and injuries at work because things happen outside of your control as you can see in this picture so this is about how you deal with injuries and then we have discussed about how to give your opinion the use of how about and how about and then we have discussed about um, the expression of give up simply i try and try good idea and that just might help you can use this kind of expression bisa dipakai dalam percakapan bahasa inggris now we continue our uh, discussion our learning today to session two yeah, sesi kedua so this is about uh, deduction from pay so Remember, when you work, you must earn your salary or your payment. Ya, jadi uh, dibayar. Payment. It can be monthly payment or hourly payment. Hourly payment itu maksudnya uh, dibayar per jam. Biasanya itu disebut dengan upah. A salary is monthly. So, as you can see, Deduction from pay, it means that your payment is deducted. Atau dikurangi atau dipotong untuk pembayaran ini. Uh, so, as you can see in this picture, there are two women having conversation. Woman A looked at her document like this. So, A is manufacturing co, the word co means corporation, corporate. Uh, this is from the National Bank. With the amount 211 and 90 cents. Uh, her name is Paula Robinson. So Paula Robinson's payroll account and this one uh, earnings. Earnings means how much she earned monthly, 320 dollars with the from federal 48, from the state is 16 and from FICA is 24. Now, yes, you can see on the right table, right here, this is medical, medical tax for $4.80. Uh, right, I think it's retribution, $9.60. Undues, uh, five, dues ini maksudnya keterlambatan biaya. Not pay $211. Nah, ini yang harus dia bayar. Void after 60 days. Nah, jadi, uh, sifatnya uang uh, ada datang ada keluar ya seperti itu. Now as you can see in the next uh, woman or woman B, she said like this: first savings bank. So different bank. Woman A has National Bank. 
woman B has a first savings bank. The amount is 360 cent. Uh, 60 cent itu maksudnya mata uang pecahan dari ini uh, mata uang dolar. So 310. Rosa Valenzuela deposit advice on non negotiable. So it's deposit advice. Deposit ini maksudnya DP. Makanya kita istilahnya istilahnya DP down payment itu kalau beli barang. Tapi kalau jasa biasanya menggunakan deposit. So it's very interesting deduction from pay. And this list of vocabulary that you need to know, number one until 23. Okay. Um, try Dinda Sahida, read this one, number one until uh, seven. Okay, sure. Number one, city with holding tax. Uh, Number two, credit onion. Number three, direct deposit. Number four, air. Number five, employee contribution. Number six, federal insurance contribution. Arch. Number seven, federal with with holding tax. Mm. Okay, thank you, Dinda. Uh, please continue number eight to number 15, Zakia Mamarsha. Yes, sir. Gross earnings, gross pay, insurance deduction, labor union, Medicare tax, net earnings, payday, pay period. Okay, thank you, Zakia. We continue number 16 up to 23. Uh, try Andre Octaviano. Okay, sir. Um, <clears throat> 16 pay stop, retirement contribution, salary after tax, social security, statement of earning and deduction, state with holding tax, take home pay, union dues. Okay. Union, right. dues. Uh, union, <laughs> union dues. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Andre. Ini ada perbedaan ya, ada antara Indonesia dengan negara. Ini dari bukunya Amerika Serikat. So let me explain to you. Hmm, ada yang sama, ada yang tidak. So the first one, city withholding tax. Ini pajak di tingkat kota. City withholding tax. Jadi ada pula pajak di tingkat kota. Credit union. Ini uh, you save, Anda simpan. Tapi untuk union. Misalnya untuk serikat pekerja, seperti itu. And then we have direct. Ini direct deposit. Misalnya terima terima gaji atau terima income lalu langsung deposit ke uh, itu penyimpanannya direct deposit earn earn means that something that you get and what you get is valuable makanya menggunakan kata earn you earn it nah, misalnya seperti apa daftar beasiswa lalu dipilih beasiswanya setelah berusaha sekian uh, lama makanya disebut oh finally you success you earn it so you earn it kemudian employee contribution it means that when you work in a company you should contribute as a worker employee kalau employer itu orang yang mempekerjakan orang yang bekerja disebut employee and then we have federal insurance contribution act it means uh, tingkat federal ya kalau di Indonesia kita nggak ada federal kita langsung negara kita langsung disebut state, nggak ada sistemnya federal. Jadi Federal Insurance Contribution Act ini untuk asuransi tingkat federal. Jadi ada dua mereka, ada federal withholding tax juga dan juga ada di sini um, state withholding tax. Nah, jadi state ini tingkat uh, negara di state. State ini misalnya kalau di Indonesia sama dengan provinsi misalnya New York State and then we uh, mereka punya uh, Illinois State seperti itu but we have province jadi yang setaranya dengan provinsi kalau kita kita uh, Indonesia hampir hampir menyerupai menyamai Eropa dalam hal itu so this is very interesting insurance deduction ini asuransi tiap bulan dipotong 
and then labor union, Medicare tax, you have to pay kalau di kita ini sama dengan BPJS kesehatan, Medicare tax, net earnings, net earnings means um, the sum of money that you receive or you earn every month after the month after the money is deducted accordingly. Setelah uangnya dipotong semua, baru dia sampai ke net earnings. Ini yang bersihnya gitu, ya. Jadi sudah di, 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 dipotong-potong biaya-biayanya. And then gross pay and gross makanya di sini ada gross earnings. <coughs> Grossnya ini maksudnya everything that you earned uh, in total secara keseluruhan belum dipotong dengan yang lain. So that's the meaning of gross earnings, deduction from pay. And uh, it's it's uh, pernah dengar istilah paycheck? Anyone have you ever heard about this one? Paycheck? Uh, maybe um, paycheck. Actually, if I want to explain paycheck, paycheck is the sum of money that you receive uh, monthly. Jadi kalau gaji itu di di Amerika masih berupa cek. Ada beberapa cek ditandatangani oleh manajer atau bagian treasurer bendahara, and then you receive the check, and then you can go to the bank, so that the bank can direct deposit. Ini namanya direct deposit the check into your bank account. Nah itu sifatnya. Jadi jarang di sana orang menggunakan megang um, uang cash di apa mereka. Sekalipun ada, tapi enggak terlalu ini. It's not going to be that much. And then um, we continue. That is deduction from pay. I think you already understand about this one. Now, this is also important for you to know. It's about spending money. Spending money. Anybody knows what does it mean with spending money? Apa itu spending money? Menghabiskan uang. Menghabiskan uang. Oh, yeah. Misalnya spending money means membelanjakan uang. You spend it. Jadi sifatnya uang atau money, uh, you should spend it. Jadi makanya dia bisa ber, dia untuk transaksi. And then you see this picture. We have one, two, three, and four pictures uh, dealing with spending money. And we have the first one is, um, I think it's these two people. Um, okay, you see the first picture is that. Nih, lihat mereka dapat amplop. So that is called as paycheck. Paycheck. Ah, uh, ini manajernya sudah membagi-bagikan paycheck. Usually it's monthly. Jadi ada uh, rekapnya sekaliannya. Kalau di kita namanya sama dengan amprah. Um, jadi tidak langsung uh, dari bendera langsung ke rekening masing-masing enggak. Jadi, it's about paycheck. Jadi, ada laporannya nanti. itu. And then, uh, you see this second picture, what happened? What happened with the second picture? Mm -hmm. You see? This is like club. Like club. And then, oh, I think it's different woman. You see this man with the curly hair, and then uh, he seemed to carry or invite um, his his wife. Maybe do you know what do you think? What what place is this? What do you think? At the lake club in here, lake club. Um, I think it's a place for having dinner, or recreation, or theater. Yeah, something related with that. And we have third picture. What do you call this situation actually? Apa ini kira-kira yang gambar ketiga? Anybody knows? I think it's um, gambar apa ini kira-kira? 
And then we have oh, Varian Sajul baru gabung dengan kita. And uh, ini kira-kira tempat atau gambar apa ini? Yang nomor ketiga. Piknik. Piknik. Good. Piknik or uh, vacation. Ya, ini juga spending money. Look at this uh, list of foods in here that they uh, buy from the grocery stores. And what happened to the fourth picture? Gambar keempat. Apa yang terjadi? What happened? Okay, see, you look at this uh, date. This is uh, 15. 15. And this one is June 18. See? Um, June. I think it's June or May. I think somewhere in June. June. June 15, 18. Reposition notice. <laughs> See, ini yang laki-laki ini melihat gambar. Reposition notice. Notice ini semacam pengumuman atau pemberitahuan. Notice, notification. Tentang reposition. Reposition means when you have something but you need to pay it monthly. Bulan. Sama kita merental ya. Okay. Now we have list of words that you need to know about spending money. We have 30 words, 30 kosa kata yang baru ini. It's very interesting. Um, try number one until ten. I'd like to call uh, Karin. One until ten. Um, yes, try Karin. Words. <laughs> Bad credit, two, budget, three, common sense, four, credit rating, five, credit risks, six, debt, seven, disposable income, eight, economize, uh, nine, entertainment expenses, mm -hmm. ten, ten, expenditure. 11 expenses, mm -hmm. 12 extravagance, 13 extravagance, 14 financial responsibility, 15 good credit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 16 good signs, 17 impress, 18 mm -hmm. life box one means, 19 life within one means. Okay. Mm -hmm. 20 okay. moderation, moderation. Mm -hmm. first pain, mm -hmm. 22, oh, mm -hmm. oh, 23 mm -hmm. prudent, mm -hmm. 24 reposes, 25 mm -hmm. sensible, mm -hmm. 26 pleasure, mm -hmm. 27 spendthrift, mm -hmm. 28 search, mm -hmm. 29 west, 30 wasteful. Wasteful. Okay, all right, thank you, Karen. Now we see the list of uh, vocabularies at this point. The first one is about bad credit. And number two is uh, budget. Number three, common sense. Now, bad credit means when you take uh, some amount of money from the bank, but then you pay more than you own to the bank. So that is bad credit. Misalnya, Kredit pembayarannya itu agak macet, misalnya, atau member lebih dari yang seharusnya. That is bad credit. Budget, you know already this, but this one budget, and then common sense. Credit rating and credit risk. Nah, credit risk ini kalau di sistem perbankan di sana, kalau misalnya kita sering meminjam uang ke bank, lalu ada catatan kita telat bayar, kemudian ada catatan kita tidak melunasi kredit. Uh, yang yang ada di bank tersebut maka akan terjadi credit risk hmm. and then number six debt uh, seven debt you know brother already it's debit number seven disposable income economize entertainment expenses now this one number two see this picture ini disebut dengan entertainment expenses jadi expenses is the, the way how you spend the money makanya disebut dengan expenses 
Number 10 is expenditure. Expenditure means when you uh, try to um, buy something with your money and all of that is called expenditure. Jadi ada expenses, ada expenditure. Number 11, expenses. Uh, expenses, makanya yang segala sesuatu yang uh, dibayar dengan uang dan jumlah uangnya mahal harus kita keluarkan disebut expensive. Ya, jadi pembelian expenses, entertainment expenses. Nah, ya, jadi itu disebut. Kalau yang lebih, misalnya yang ekstra luar biasa itu disebut extravagant or ex extravagant. Misalnya baju baju buat uh, gaun malam misalnya ya harusnya kita beli cukup 200 ribu misalnya 250 ribu yang dibeli satu juta misalnya satu satu setel itu nah itu namanya extravagant um, remember you also need to have financial responsibility um, when you are responsible about your finance good credit good sense and press Um, life above one's means. Ini maksudnya, ini jangan seperti ini kita tiru ya. Uh, live above one's means. Maksudnya, uh, menjalani hidup melebihi kemampuan diri sendiri. Ini maksudnya, ini idiomatik. Number 18. So, you should live within one's means. Live within your own means. Maksudnya, menjalani hidup sesuai dengan kemampuan uh, sendiri ya. Uh, jangan above, misalnya kita hanya mampu membeli HP um, Android yang kisarannya 1 sampai satu setengah juta. Jangan memaksakan diri membeli iPhone yang 10 juta. No, you don't have to do that. Okay, the, the, the point of why people buy i uh, cell phone is because they want to be reachable or contactable. That's it. And we have the next one is. Um, Okay, so moderation, we have moderation, overspend, remember this, do not overspend, remember you have to control your money, O, O we need to disebut dengan hutang, O, prudent, uh, repossess, um, sensible, simple pleasures, ni simple pleasures namanya, go to a picnic, it's simple, I like this one. Spend thrift, splurge, waste, and wasteful. Jangan sampai kita wasteful, buang-buang ya. You have spent 30 days, 30 hari kerja. Uh, satu bulan itu 4 minggu. Jadi ada 4 kali hari minggu. Berarti 30 hari kurang 4, berarti 26 hari. Kalau Sabtu nggak kerja, berarti kurang lagi 8. 38, 22 hari kerja, dapat uang total sekian. Nah, uang total sekian itu bagi 22. Berarti berapa sehari penghasilan? Nah, sekian dikeluarkan untuk kebutuhan sehari segala macam. So that's you need to spend your money well, okay? Uh, because one day if you go to Japan, pergi ke maka beberapa budaya kalau Jepang itu mereka suka masak di rumah also. Okay? I think. Okay, so that is about spending money. Nanti kalau kalian buat percakapan tentang ini, you can use these words. Uh, want to buy this or that? It's all right. We move on. Paying taxes. Okay. So you need to pay your tax. Makanya pernah ada istilah kalau warga yang baik adalah warga yang taat bayar pajak. Ya, bayar pajak. Karena pajak juga manfaatnya buat kita semua. Um, we have here this picture. Ada namanya tax refund. Tax refund. Ya. Kalau di sana itu kalau pajak bisa dikembalikan. So that's amazing. Uh, tax uh, refund and then um, ini bulan April see three women are talking about taxes mm -hmm. okay before we talk further we have this list of words number one until 28 I'd like to call number one until 10 try uh, Evelina Limbernia one account 10 Two annual income, three auditor, four big tax, five computing, six compute, seven deadline, eight educate, tile, nine dependent, ten ex. Okay. 
All right, thank you, Felina. Now we come to number 11 to 19, uh, Fidia Elfi. Yes, sir. 11 extensions, 12 file attacks return, 13 from, from 1040, 1040, uh, 14 from 1040 EZ, 15 from W2, 16 income tax, 17 internal revenue service or IRS, 18 late penalty, 19 non resident. Okay, good, good. We come to number 20 to 28, Ulfaiza. Offer pie. By interest, resident, taxable income, tax credit, tax evasion, tax forms, tax fire, tax withheld. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ufaiza. We have this list of words that relate to paying taxes. Yang perlu diamati itu adalah ini. Internal Revenue Service. Ini sama seperti uh, lembaga yang mengatur tentang pajak di negeri Amerika Serikat ini berada di bawah um, <coughs> Department of Finance, <coughs> Department Keuangan. And then when you overpay, remember overpay, membayar lebih dari seharusnya, overpay, you are very diligent to pay your taxes, tapi ternyata overpay, maka akan ada namanya um, harus ada file a tax return. Tax return itu dikembalikan pajaknya. Ya. <tuh> Kemudian kalau misalnya apur bulan mendapatkan um, gaji sekian, ini dinamakan dengan income tax, pajak penghasilan namanya. Wah, bayar pajak semua. And then this is the form, form 1040, form 1040 um, easy. And then form W2, ini namanya dokumen. Nah, jadi kalau dokumen resmi itu dikasih kepala namanya form. Makanya ada Google Forms, Attendance Form, kemudian um, rapor mahasiswa misalnya Students Achievement Form. Nah, itu. Jadi form itu memang uh, dokumen kepalanya itu ya, yang biasanya ada ada perlu diisi oleh orang lain. Nah, makanya disebut dengan form. And then ada istilah resident Resident, misalnya seperti kalian mahasiswa Universitas Bung Hatta, maka menjadi resident of Bung Hatta University. Uh, resident. Jadi, res, resident, reside there. You, you, you stay and you live there. Bukan di kampus, tapi menjadi bagian dari uh, mahasiswa Universitas Bung Hatta. And then, we have annual income. It means um, yearly uh, penghasilan satu tahun berapa, begitu yang ditanya ya. Jadi yang keren itu jangan ditanya berapa gaji sebulan tidak, tapi berapa yang diterima satu tahun. Itu yang uh, seharusnya uh, bahasanya. Jadi kalau misalnya gajinya 2 juta sebulan dikali 12 bulan berarti 24 juta. 24 million rupees. Nah, berapa yang harus dibayar pajak? Nah, dari situ dihitung. Kemudian tax evasion, tax form, taxpayer, tax withheld, nih tax withheld tax form ini dokumen-dokumen untuk bayar. Nah, kalau kita for you if you want to pay tax, makanya disebut dengan uh, tax payer, uh, pembayar pajak. Hmm. If you do not pay it on time, it will become late penalty. Late penalty ini sanksi uh, keterlambatan ya. Um, oke. Okay. Uh, sanksi keterlambatan ada resident and non-resident. Deadline. I think you already know some some uh, auditor. See this picture, auditor. Auditor means a person whose job is to audit the tax of a company or an official uh, person. Jadi mengaudit uh, pajaknya, ya. Jadi semua dokumen dikumpulkan. You have to collect your transaction, your money, and then your income. How much money that you need to spend monthly. Itu semua dikumpulkan kepada auditor. Okay. Um, waktu akan berkurang 9 menit lagi. So we move on. 
living a job. Um, so the meaning of living a job means when you reach the point of um, you want to move from your current job. Okay, that's the point. Leaving a job. Beach badges sold here. Excuse me. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. So you see this picture? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six pictures all together. They relate one another. And uh, we have the word uh, soda in here. Uh, beach badges sold here. Ooh. Okay. The, the company name is Soda. Do it now. Laboratory. To Tech Institute. Uh, okay, what happened to this woman already? And then, okay, good luck in your move. Mm -hmm. Four years. Okay, so this is living a job means when you actually leave, uh, you are not working any longer in your current position. See. The list of words that relate to this are um, this one, number one, until uh, 24. Uh, we would like to call, um, yeah. um, okay, Dadang Suhendar, number one, until eight. Are you there, Dadang Suhendar? Okay, maybe he doesn't he doesn't listen to that. Now we would like to call again um, from the beginning, Dinda Sahida, number one until eight. Hey sir. Uh, number one at funds. Number two at funds and mm -hmm. Number three, career chance. Number four. Career decision. Hmm. Number five, career opportunity. Number six, career path. Number seven, career training. Number eight, give notice. Hmm. Okay, so mm, I'd like to, thank you, Dinda. I'd like to correct the pronunciation number two actually uh, pronounce advancement, advancement, uh, advance, advancement, career change, career decision, career opportunity. Jadi ada opportunity, ada lima ya. Opportunity, opportunity, and then career path. Career, jadi ada career, career, jadi ada dua dia, career. Career training, training, ada dua dia, training, train, jaga agak naik dia, career training, give notice, give, give kan satu itu, give notice, okay, uh, okay, alright, jadi uh, bisa di, uh, dipisahkan berdasarkan syllable. We come to number 9 to 16, we would like to call Andre Octaviano. Nine lire, ten low pay, eleven maternity leave, twelve move away, thirteen overwork, fourteen regret, fifteen resign, sixteen res resignation. Okay, good, perfect. So we have the word lire, low pay. Low pay means when you get uh, not sufficient payment for yourself monthly. And then maternity leave. Maternity leave is only for women. Ini hanya untuk perempuan. Maternity yang hamil, jadi leave dia. Kalau nggak kerja, tiga bulan misalnya ya. Karena meng, me, dulu apa, uh, menghalirkan bayi. Kemudian maternity leave. Sekarang sedang diusahakan oleh kaum perempuan. Bahwa mereka tetap dibayarkan meskipun mereka nggak kerja tiga bulan itu. Karena maternity leave. Kalau di... Di kita perempuan yang bekerja masih tetap dibayarkan haknya tiga bulan tersebut ya. And then move away, overworked. Overworked means when you 
do something at your job more than you should. That is called overworked. Regret and resign, resignation. We have resign. Re resign means when you um, state to your employer that you want to quit from your job. That's resign. We mengundurkan diri, dia resign. Basically, ada satu dan lain hal. Resign. And then resignation, ini pernyataan pengunduran diri tersebut. Okay. So, now we come to number 17 to 24. Um, silakan Zakia Muhammad Shah. Yes, sir. Number 17, session layoff. Number 17, session layoff. 18, self-informant, 19, sexual advance, 20, stare, 21, stressful, 22, technical training, 23, underpaid, 24, working conditions. Okay. So we have uh, this list of words. Thank you, Zakia. Seasonal, seasonal, season. You did a season and then seasonal, this is a layoff. And then self improvement, a sexual advance. Sexual advance, ni maksudnya uh, apa secara, apa ya, secara sexual ini lebih kematangan dia. Stare, stare, just looking at the employee. Stressful, stressful means uh, kondisi yang stress. Technical training, pelatihan ini, technical training seperti gambar ini menjahit ya. This is uh, embroidery. And then underpaid. Oh, she looks so sad in here, underpaid. Um, and then working condition. So you need to remember that when you are going to apply for a job, you also ask how much money you earn monthly with your job. Tapi kalau kondisi kerjanya santai, tidak terlalu stressful, biasanya average. We call it stressful, a lot of lot of work. You have to sit in front of your laptop every day. You have to explain things on that. And the more people you contact with, the more payment you will get. Basically, that's what I've heard. And um, so this is retirement, okay? So this one. Ya, mereka dia, ini namanya retirement di sini ya. Uh, when did she retire? How old was she? Nih. So that's the question. When did she... Nih, kap, kapan uh, perempuan ini pensiun misalnya, retire? Retire ini pensiun. See? 40 years. Wow, after working 40 years, 40 tahun bekerja di sana. So basically, besar, besar kemungkinan, she is 65 years old. Usia 25 baru kerja di sini. Yeah. So probably she's 65 years old. Okay, so I stop share here. I will continue uh, my description in the second session. Di sesi kedua. Okay, I'll see you in session two.